Amanda and Brandon. Very nice. Well, good luck. Good luck here. Good luck here. All right, Mr. X, tell us about yourself. My name is Christopher Schutte. I am originally from Dallas, Texas. I am now a special education teacher in Burbank, California. And in my spare time, I enjoy refinishing old furniture and collecting anything dealing with gargoyles. Really? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck to you, too. Here's how we play our game. You're going to get three stars in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally. You have to decide if the answers are giving are correct or they're just making them up. That's how you get the squares. First game's worth $1,000, and Charlene, I understand you won the coin toss. Yes, I did. Dave, you get to start. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, please. Okay, oh, what's up? Before, uh, before George Michael went solo, he performed with Andrew Ridgely in a group called what? Um, I believe it was Wham! is the name of the group. Wham! I agree. Bam! Thank you, ma'am! That's right! Wham! That's all against the square. All right, Christopher. Caroline Ray, please. Caroline Ray! Caroline, a newly recruited Atlanta police officer, got in a bit of trouble when he took what back to Alabama to show his mother? <laughs> Jane Fonda. <laughs> he did. He's kidding it. <laughs> All right, you forget <laughs> He accidentally drove his police car home to his mother. I'll agree. I don't know how accidentally he did, but it was his police car. That's right. X gets the square. Yeah. All right, Charlene. Okay, I'll have, uh, take Joey McIntyre, please. Joey McIntyre, former new kid on the block with new CDs. Stay the same. Yeah. Joey, what are the first three words in the preamble to the Constitution? Let's get busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it's, this is how it starts. It starts like this. It starts, in accordance with in accordance with... I disagree. We, the people. Yes. Circle no. gets the square. Christopher? Bobcat for the block, please. Bobcat Goldthwait for the block. <laughs> see, I never would have thought that would go together until I see you in the... What? Bobcat for the block? No, no, the hat and the... Oh, the yeah. National Enquirer <laughs> claims that Janet Jackson likes to unwind by watching what? Uh, uh, she likes to uh, unwind uh, by uh, watching uh, the Discovery Channel. The Discovery Channel. I'll agree. The Three Stooges. <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> Shirley, we can't give you that one. Okay. But you have to earn it yourself. Bobcat. Bobcat Goldthwait for the win. <laughs> A. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. A university study revealed that eating this may fight pain better than a regular dose of aspirin. What is it? Uh, human flesh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh like I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so many negative things have been said about cannibalism. And I blame you, Mr. Springer. <laughs> Can I ask a question, Bobcat? You're showing up here. Does this count for your therapy for the week? Or? <laughs> no, no, but it has a lot to do with my community service work. <laughs> um, so, uh, what was the question? Uh, uh, eating this may fight pain better than a regular dose of aspirin. What is it? Uh, uh, <laughs> garlic. Garlic. I'll agree. Cherries, actually. Oh. Cherries, yeah. Really? Okay, Ooh. X gets that square. And Christopher, you're still in this. <laughs> Keith Oberman for the win, please. Keith Oberman from Fox Sports News. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm exhausted from these last two answers. I can imagine. <laughs> Keith, they showed up very contaminated in a university study, so you shouldn't touch your doctor's what? Receptionist. What year is it? Oh, I'm sorry, it's politically incorrect. The only politically incorrect joke ever done here. I'm sorry, Caroline. Uh, his pen. I'll disagree. His pen. Circle gets the square. All right, Charlene, you're back in this, too. Okay, I will take Kelly Hu for Kelly the Hu win. Kelly Hu from Martial Law for the win. Mattel introduced the Barbie last year to commemorate the 50th anniversary of America's most popular spectator sport. What is she called? The Jerry Springer Barbie. <laughs> How come I keep being in the show? Because we like you. Okay, it's, it's, really, it's really the NBA Barbie. NBA Barbie. 
Oh, great. NASCAR Barbie. X gets the square. Okay. All right, back at you, Christopher. Bruce Valanche for the win. Bruce Valanche for the win. And a thousand dollars. Yes, thank you. In a dramatic you moment, Shakespeare's Richard III cries out that he'd trade his kingdom for a what? A ticket to the Joey McIntyre concert. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, no, please, you're too kind. His Thanks. kingdom for a what, but Bruce? My, uh, my, uh, my horse, a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. I agree. That's right, a horse. X gets the square <laughs> and the win. Dollars. We'll have a $1,000 secret square game right after this. Stay right there, won't you? Promotional consideration furnished by the following. I've lost. It's square time for a thousand dollar secret square game. A father of you picks a secret square and is correct. You're gonna win this. It's a luxury cruise to the Caribbean worth over four thousand seven hundred dollars. All right, let's uh, show you folks at home who the secret square is. All right, Christopher, you won the last game. You get to start this one. Whoopi Goldberg, please. All right, what's there? A legendary Hollywood director was quoted as saying actors are cattle, then claimed he had been misquoted, and that he really said actors should be treated as cattle. Who was he? Now, you want to know who spoke so disparagingly about actors, and I tell you, it was a man shaped like an egg <laughs> who had no business talking about us at all, but he was brilliant. His name was Alfredo Hitchcock. <laughs> I'll agree. He was the fifth March, br Marx brother. Yes, he'll be <laughs> Taco. That's right. X says the square. <laughs> Long night. Charlie? Caroline Ray, please. Caroline Ray. <laughs> what vegetable, Caroline, did Mark Twain say is nothing but cabbage with a college education? That's an awful thing to say to a vegetable. <laughs> you are nothing but cabbage. You know what? I was just in Hawaii. There's a big tree and Mark Twain was there. So I read the little blurb, and I happen to know this because of this long, boring story that it's cauliflower. Uh, I'm gonna disagree. Maybe boring, but she's right. Oh. Cauliflower, yeah, cauliflower. X gets the square. Christopher. Jerry Springer for the win, please. Jerry Springer. For the rest of your life, Jerry Springer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jim Allen's wife told him, Jerry, that would be fun for someone your age when he was considering doing what? Getting a bigger tool. <laughs> Jerry, 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 Jerry. All right. Uh, how about, um, oh, you know what? It was um, uh, uh, skydiving. I'll agree. A movie with an erotic bathtub scene. <laughs> Circle gets what? the square. Yeah. All right, Charlie. All righty. Still in it. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Keith Olbermann. Keith Olbermann. Okay, Keith. <laughs> Who said uh, there's only one question you should ask yourself? Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Can it star? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had a flashback to yeah, who was yeah, there. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> Clint, Clint Eastwood. I agree. Clint Eastwood. Yeah, Circle gets the square. Right, Christopher. Jackie Collins, please, for the block. Jackie Collins for the block. Her new novel is Dangerous Kiss. Jackie, a national periodical's hint for insomnia suggests that before bed, have a hot what? Time. <laughs> Well, you can read one of my books. There you go. Right, it'll be, you'll read it yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think, you know what? Um, how about a hot ba? Ba? Ba. Ba. A ba. 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 In 1913, Mexican bandit Pancho Villa stole $160,000 in silver from Wells Fargo, then worked out a deal to sell it to who? Wells Fargo. <laughs> I agree. Wells Fargo. We get a tie game. We get a tiebreaker right after this. We'll be right back.
Blue Squares. We've got a tiebreaker game, a $2,000 game coming up. If we run out of time in this or any other game, you get $500 for every square you have on the board. And the show with the most money, you're the champion, and go on to play for a bonus prize. Kelly, who you were our secret square last time, you know, oh. my dear. And nobody picked oh. Kelly, so we're going to move that secret square prize to another square and show you at home, you lucky devils, who that is. <laughs> All right, now you know. Charlene, you won the last game. You get to start this one. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoop star. Charlene. What does the, uh, what does the always reliable Playboy advisor suggest as a holiday tip for your newspaper carrier? I don't know, child. What does the bunny want? <laughs> I would assume, a, you know, money. I agree. Yeah, 10 to $20. Really? Money. Yeah, Good. circle gets the square. Uh, Christopher? Keith Olbermann, please. Keith Olbermann. <laughs> They've won 900 in a row and 20,000 in their career. Who are they? Uh, the uh, Harlem Globetrotters basketball team. I'll agree. Harlem Globetrotters, X gets the square. All right, Charlene. I'll take Bruce Valanche, please. Bruce okay. Valanche. <laughs> With his Jan Brady t-shirt. This is the bitter Brady. The, oh, the bitter Brady, yes. Miserable Brady girl. But a lot of bounce in there. <laughs> in, in 1664, the Dutch lost New Amsterdam to the British. What did the British rename it? Maury Amsterdam. <laughs> Always been a big Jewish town, you know. So. Uh, the British, knowing that they could, if they could make it there, they'd make it anywhere. And Jackie Collins, of course, is an expert on every place the British have made it. <laughs> they named it New York, New York. I agree. They did, they did. Yes, yeah, Circle gets the square. Okay, <laughs> Jackie Collins for the block, please. Jackie for the block. In the 1800s, this breakaway group of radical Quakers established utopian communities across America. They valued celibacy and really good furniture, so we'll never see them in your books. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what were they called? What was that they valued again? Celibacy. Well, Bruce knows a lot about that. Absolutely. Oh, oh, sure. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. It's better than nothing. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you something. This is, this is a strange name for them, considering that they valued that so much. But I would say the Shakers. I'll agree. The Shakers, yeah. Good X gets the square you. and the block. Gary Springer. Gary Springer, the block. In his hit, do you hear that at night when you're dreaming? <laughs> In his hit song, country singer George Strait says it all is X's live where? In a constant state of litigation. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. I agree. All his exes live in Texas. Yes, yeah, Circle gets the square. Okay, Christopher. Caroline Ray, please, for the block. Oh, Bob Evans, Secret Square Shopping for a Caribbean cruise down the block. Which U.S. city is known as Big D, Caroline? Detroit, Denver, or Dallas? Big D. Dallas? Or a Caribbean cruise? My hometown, I agree. Dallas, yes. X gets the square, and you also get this. Costa Cruises, Europe's leading cruise line, offers a seven-night Caribbean cruise aboard one of our two newest ships, the Costa Romantica or the Costa Victoria. Experience cruising Italian style from Costa Cruises. This romantic cruise is worth $4,718. Very cool. That's a serendipity square for you, yes. Tracer, not bad at all. Charlene? Take Bobcat. For Bobcat. The block. Wake up, Bobcat. Okay, here we go. After seeing the catchy slogan 21 Shoe Styles, what ad slogan did H.J. Hines come up with? Uh, what slogan did yeah. Ketchup Company? Uh, it was, uh, hey, nice tomatoes. It was, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, 87 varieties. 87 varieties. Oh, I disagree. 57 variety. Circle gets the square. I tried. Oh, yeah. oh, I love it when this happens. Okay, let's see. You got three X's up there, Christopher. That gives you $2,500 in that little Caribbean cruise. That's not bad. Good to have you with us. Thank you very much. But you've got four circles up there. That means by $500, you have a great start.
we come back, you take a shot at a bonus prize. Could be a new car, a whole bunch of money, or something else. We'll okay. find out, all right? Okay, Good right. Good for you. We'll be right back after this. She's our champion with $3,000 in cash. You ready to win some more stuff? Yes. Okay, now here's the way it works. Each of our stars has a bonus prize. They total over $100,000 in neat things like these, Charlie. We have a great classic train tour of Europe worth over $11,000 and a check for $10,000. All right, so you can either win that or you can drive your prize away. Check this out. The Chrysler Sebring Convertible, V6 engine, performance handling, a back seat comfortable enough for two, and a double sealed roof for all year driving, engineered to be great cars. This sporty new car is worth $28,970. All right, how many seals on the roof do you have now? How many seals is uh, on your roof? I, I don't know. Yeah, see, this is double seal. <laughs> Quickest star, get the final question right, and uh, I'm obsessing. And the prize is yours. Whoopi Goldberg. All right, Webster, what are we playing for? Come on, Whoopi. Would you settle for a London Paris vacation? Uh, you bet all I right. would. <laughs> Travel agent doing a little traveling. All right, one question in the way, though. What did Gloria Steinem call the feminist magazine she started in 1972? Woman, Ms., or Cosmopolitan? Ms. Or a trip? I agree. You got your trip. Ms. Yeah.